Right, today I want to have a look at me uh, Password Nail Gun. It's the old style 350. Um, it's been going around for a long time now. I've had it for about 13 years. It's done me well. Um, but I'm having some problems with it. Mainly sparking problems. Um, it, 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 the, the, the locking mechanism's not working. And there are numerous amount of things. And really, I need to get it really stripped down. I've been down to the local centre. We're talking two weeks before they can actually get to it it's sorted how much no idea so a lot of money a lot of time i need it on site it's either that i'll go buy a new one so i thought oh, i'll look on youtube and see who's going to advise me about stripping this thing down to its bare bones no one there is one nobody on there has stripped hundreds are servicing it but nobody stripped it down a couple of people mentioned faults but not how to get to it how to strip it how to sort it and believe you me, it's not easy. Taking this bit off, fine. Taking that bit off, fine, like you do a service, splitting them apart. But then you start taking it all apart. Now, I mean, I'm not take, talking about changing piston rings. You want to change piston rings, you need um, a, a ring compressor in order to do that. If you've got that, then you probably know what to do anyway. What I'm talking about is taking all the bodies apart and stripping all the guts out so that each component can be got at and worked at and repaired. So that's what I'm going to do now. So knuckle down, this takes a little bit of time, but I'm going to strip this right down to its brass tacks and put it back together again so you can follow and you'll know how to do it. Okay, watch in. First thing, make it safe. Battery, gone. Nails, out. Gas, out. Now it's safe. First thing, we want to separate the two pieces. We remove them four screws, them two screws. It's apart. Get the correct tools, and now they come. Then, the other end. You have in here two screws in the centre. That's what wants to be moving. Same again, torque screw, and it comes. I'm doing it on this silly towel so that you can see the components. Okay, once they're apart, then it's just a simple case of lifting this up and peeing it out. There you have the two halves. It's very simple, very easy. But then when we get serious and we start stripping down for it, now we've got this. This is the main body. What I want to do is take this piece here off first by removing these two screws. Now it's useful to keep these screws in order because you'll be able to tell by the number and the size of screws roughly where they go. But if you have any doubt, just look at this video again and you'll see where they do go. That comes out there. Now for this, we have these components. Them two screws, that plate, that piece. These bits will come out later. Now we'll remove these four screws, uh, these three screws on the top here. Again, torque screw. Torque key to remove them. And the last one. This should drop the body. Now that plate goes on the outside. The rest of it is now on the inside. Remove the plastic cover. And then we have the piston mechanism. Now, piston mechanism is only made up of two main bodies and then these two parts. So you haven't got a lot of bits. You've just got to know how they go together. So starting off with, we've got this plate here. That drops out and it goes with them. Right, that's behind this one. Right, you've got this plate here which sits behind the piston rod. There. And you've got the slide bar here, which allows the whole thing to slide in and out. Right, to remove that, we take out these pins. One from that side, one from that side. Now, the whole thing will come out. And you'll know, you'll have a spring here and a spring here. Take them out. 
then this piece you just pull the pause and off it will come pull the pause with gloves on it's not so easy right and this piece slides out the back and you've got two inserts which pop out there as well These are just collets which hold it in place and obviously the screws for the body go through it. And there we have. And that is as far as we go. Now you can see in there you've got access to everything. You can really get in and properly clean it. This will be so full of guns when you pull yours apart it will be unbelievable. But all these components Get them all stripped down. Now remember, this bit here stays together. Then this bit goes on. And this bit holds the whole thing together. So that bit we'll leave alone. Right, once you've cleaned this, now we want to reassemble it. Again, all you do is do in reverse. We're going to start off placing this in behind this piece. In there. Stop it falling out, put in the two spacers. Which go in that was one wants to be nice and free and easy. Push it back in again, doesn't matter. Okay, now that's in. <clears throat> Next, this. And it goes on with this at the back. That's the front, this is the back. So we go on there, pull it out, let it go on. Just like that, nice and simple. There. Nice and easy. Then the springs. Push this forward, put the spring in there. And the same as that. A little gentle to make sure they're not going to fall off and that's it taking that dish part and putting it to the filter slide it in you're sliding down until these two are in line with them holes and then put these back through just center them they'll hold in with the body same with the next one like so. Take the body, now remember it, just the bottom of the gun, slide it over that way, you know it's right because you've got that slope there, a recess there that matches up. If it's like that it's correct. Then plate it back on and screws back in. Okay, next, this assembly. We start off by placing this little captive plate in there. That's got the threads in it that you need. Drop it forward and then place on this piece. Now you see you've got a knurly piece. Get it in line with that knurly piece for now. What you've got is as it says there, flush and deep. You push it this way, you're going to get a deep shot. You bring it out that way, you're going to get a flush shot. It's up to you what you want. For the sake of fitting, we're going to just put it like that. This piece, sit it like so. So the two flanges are facing backwards. And put in the first two. Keep it tilted forward, it'll keep that plate in place and you'll be able to get to it better. Don't tighten anything until you've got them both in. And then just make sure everything is lined up, as I said, there. Now I don't want it so deep, so I'm going to go 50-50, which will be there. I don't want to go deep, I don't want to go flush, I want to go just, so it goes under the surface, so I'm going to go half an hour, and that's it. Okay, there, now that is the cylinder complete. And there, so that is the cylinder complete. Stripped as far as it can be stripped, or as far as we're gonna strip it. You've got a filter in there. If you wanted to change that, then you would have to 
get the filter first and then take it apart. It's not easy, the locks are very tight, so be careful with that. Piston rings, again, you will need a ring compressor if you want to do it. Many of these parts are available online if you needed to replace them if anything broke, but they shouldn't be broken. Okay, set that to one side. And now we want to look at full strip down of the handle fist grip section. Right, first thing we want to do, select the right torque screws and we will need to pause your drive as well. And then I want to remove this slide. Now to remove the slide, it just literally slides off and it holds the two pieces separate. Remember, keep yourself separate from them screws there. You don't want to be getting them mixed up. Start off with, undo all the, po the posy head screws. Should be four or five with this one here, five in total. Four normal screws and this short one this side. Okay, now we've got two torque screws here, which hold the nose on. Take them two out. And then you've got two of these on both sides. Now, try not to let it all fall apart, keep it tight together, turn it over, and we've got three more. A screw there, pause it. and the two torque screws at the top there, removing them again. Right, and then we separate them. And you hear all of the noise there, because a lot of stuff fell. Right, the two sides. And what we have in these two sides, we have the belt catch just to hang you on your belt. This is the trigger bar. And here, we have the trigger. Down a bit more so you can see a bit better. Here, we have the trigger. That just pulls out, it's got a spring, shouldn't come out on its own. It should be okay to just leave it in there. This side, we've got the plate, what the uh, nails slide on, and the top plate for the nails to slide on. Then we have the nose shoe, there, and this, is the auto stop when you run out of nails and behind it a little spring. Now watch that spring, make sure you don't lose it. Now what we're looking at here is this is your spring loaded mechanism for the nails. It slides down there like that and that comes back and locks in place. Just check that that's clean and is in good order. And that really is all on that one. You can give it a good clean, make it look pretty, put it to one side. If that is intact, put it to one side. Next, we have the one with all the workings on. What's just fallen off there is obviously the, your gas cover. Don't want that. Right, now on the service, we'd already checked and cleaned this and cleaned the poles. You can do that again if you need. Your sparking plug is in there as well. Your, your little electrode is in there. Make sure that's good. But here now, you can get to everything. Here you've got this, the battery connector and it comes all the way down to be the switch. If you undo these couple of screws, that is all one piece and comes out in one piece and can be bought and replaced in one piece um, at a cost of about 40, 50 quid. This bit is your electrode, it's the igniter. Um, Glue it into place, just a simple plug and the electrode cable just pushes into it. If that's gone, you won't be sparking at all and that will cost you a hundred quid. It's not cheap, so hopefully that's not gone. This spring, you can buy the spring on its own for about £12 off. So if you need that, if it's gone, if it's broken, if the wheel is showing signs of being heavily worn out, then that will need replacing. Other than that, that's all. This when you're servicing it, just make sure your probes are clean, the connectors are nice and clean, and the rubber at the side. Look at your two quid for that little tiny bit of rubber there. It's quite ridiculous. Um, just make sure they're all still in position. And then get rid of any grime and dirt that's on it anywhere. And that's it. Then you're going through all the items. 
solid lump of metal, just make sure it's clean. Your plate, your other plate, your other slides, all these bits, just clean them up. That's all, it's simple. Now then, reassembly. Do this correct or you will be doing it forever. It will be so difficult. You start off with this one. Move this to one side. Let's focus in on this. Believe you me, many people have spent many hours trying to get this to work. That needs to go in first with this spring. You put the little spring into there. Then, putting this plate over the top of it, making sure that it catches on that spring and that you're getting that spring action. Now you want that spring action to work. Then, we put this back on. Now remember you've got two screws, both sides for this. So, to start off with, you want to turn this over without letting that spring or anything like that move and you want to put them first two in this side. If you try and assemble it without doing this, it will fall apart and you'll spend ages trying to get this spring, if you don't lose it, back in place. Which I did the last time I did it, so as you can imagine, I already know what I'm talking about because I am a living, breathing fool that did it in the first place. Okay, that's sorted. Okay, then when you've done all that, you can then just check that and you'll see as it goes down, it pushes it out. It's working. Make sure it is. That stops your gun firing. It will stop the actuator coming up and down if it's out. If the spring breaks or you lose it and it's not in place, it will just fall forward. So every time you try and nail, it will be like you've got no nails. It will be locking it. So that is pretty important. You need that to be working. Okay. Now we go to the other piece. Mm -hmm. oh, head. Okay. The other piece with all the components on it. We start off. Put the plate in place. Now the plate fits under little lugs in this side. Just like that. Nice and simple. This piece sits on top. Like that there. The, the switch, it has a hole on the top that that will go into it. And when you look at the body, you can see how it's supposed to go. You can't put it the wrong way around. You can't put this the wrong way around. It goes into this one. You put the spring in first and you just press until it clicks into place like that. And there it is. Clicked in place. Then just literally stand that in place like so. And it's fine like that. Now these, I'll put them in afterwards, once I've got it together, because it's easier. This, again, wants to be there, but it can't, until you start putting everything together. So this is the stage, same with this, when you decide to put this bit to this bit. To do it, you need to cock the nail gun back for the nails, and then put it together. Once you've got it together like that, you can then release that and it should help hold it. Now then, what I now do is turn over and put the other two screws in. It just holds the mouths together and stops things starting to want to fall apart on you. And the first one in there, and the second one. Right, now the only other thing you've got to watch for is this spring and plate will try and pull out. So I put that screw there in on the other side just to help hold that while I get the other bits in. Okay, what we'll do now is just put this in. You just pry it open a little bit, slide it in. There it is, simple, done. Next, this and this. Again, we're just placing them in place like that. It's very easy. It wants to go into place because it's been there that long. I'm going to put one screw in. Just so I don't have to keep putting it in and taking it out. And then this. 
This should these two lugs sitting at the very back of this here. So put one in, you're still pretty open, and close it like that. Holding it shut, put a screw in the top end. And I'll stop that coming out again as well. Okay, then you can finish the assembly. There's only three screws left to go in. Turn over, put in the other one of these. And there you go, that's it. Right, put the slide back on. Like that. Now, when assembling, I'm just checking now, make sure everything is as it should be. When assembling, the cylinder back to it again as i said you go in tore first nice and gently now let me just say at this point make sure you've got some oil on that i put a bit on now i'd put on before but i'm going to put it on just to make sure it's got a little bit of lube around it helps the seal it is a compression chamber right so we're going in there first you don't want to be banging anything bent, squashing anything like that and then it'll lock in place from there, from there, two screws in the top first. That's these two. Into the front. One in there, one in there. And top one shut. Then on the back, the filter cover goes back up. Now in there, there is a filter. It's very clear, you can see through it. If it's grind up, open it up, get it cleaned up. It just pops out, it's very easy. Just a couple of little screws out in there and just pry it out. It's very flexible plastic. It comes out very easy. Just give that a wash through with a bit of spirit. Dry it off and put it back in again. Nothing major about that. And that is how to totally and completely strip down the Pathlord 350 nail gun. Any parts you need, you can easily find and replace having stripped it down to that degree. Right, and of course, the last thing is to load it up and test it. Um, so let's gas in first. Nails. And the battery. Making sure you've got a good pulsation of green light there. And the block. Press. Squeeze. No, oh, that's working fine. Right, well that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it of some use to you. Um, if you've got any questions, shove them in the bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, once again, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.